Welcome back to another Los Angeles Kings franchise rebuild. And it's been about a week since I've recorded an episode, but just a reminder, we are back to back Stanley Cup champion. So if we look at the playoff tree here, round one, we cleaned up taking out the Anaheim Ducks in four straight games. Moving on to the second round, we take down Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers four to one. Next up in the Western Conference Finals, we had a tough matchup against the Winnipeg Jets, but we end up taking them down in seven games. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we went down 2-0 to the Tampa Bay Lightning, but we stormed back with four straight wins to win our second straight Stanley Cup here. So, I mean, if you don't remember last year, our playoffs, it was an unsung hero. Matt Savoie and Marat were two absolute beasts. I mean, Mishkov and McBain caught up in the Stanley Cup Finals. They were very big for us. But, I mean, Savoie and Marat lit it up. Marat up to an 89 overall now. So, a really good pickup. And the big thing in this offseason is trading Alex Turcotte. We're most likely going to move on from him. It just... He's making a lot of money. He's going to want a big contract extension. I don't think we can keep him any longer. And he's just, he's not producing the way we need him to produce at $7 million. I mean, the 63, 65, pretty good. But other than that, 34, 57, 49, 48. He is a third liner. He's not playing top line minutes, to be fair to him. But minus two with five-star defensive stats. Eh, you know, it could be better, but Matt Ty Mishkov had a crazy year. I think he picked up four trophies, but let's get into the offseason here and the NHL entry draft. Let's take a look at the draft board here. I don't think I have a first round pick. Don't think I have a first round pick. No, I have a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. So uh, definitely not the greatest picks for us, but I want to see who's available here. Um, view draft class. So we got Victor Bykov, who looks to go number one here. Roger Roy, Eric Fast, Ludwig Skorder. Okay, some new uh, countries in here. I like that. I like that. But let's simulate. See who's going to go number one. Is it going to be a franchise potential player? Medium elite for Bykov. Medium elite once again. Medium elite. When does it fall off here? Nice medium elite. Descends up. Medium elite. Oh, did I put... No, I do not want to trade for this. No, thank you. But I should make a trade, actually. Let's uh, let's find a trade for Alex Turcotte and see what we can get for him. What's his trade value looking like? It's pretty respectable, to be honest. So no trades found. So we're going to have to make a move manually for him. What is our cap space here? So let's go offer trade and kind of take a look at our cap space here because I would like to see if we can hold on to him if possible. So we, we have about $10 million in cap space to play with. Is there anyone from the team that we can get rid of is the big question. So Byfield, no, no, no. Brett Pesce would be a nice one to, to clear up some cap space. Mikey Anderson, Bjorge Font. Ricard Raquel, I don't even think he's on the team. Andrew Kopp getting paid a decent amount. I think we just... Get, I think we got to move on from Turcotte. I don't want to, per se, but I think it's the best move to do. Miro, yeah, not going to get someone like Miro, but let's kind of look around in the overalls here, see if we can find something. Gunther, I mean, this guy would be great if I can get him, but... Again, we, we need a third liner, not too big. We don't need a, a goal scorer or anything along those lines. We need a really good third line defensive prospect who is relatively cheap. So I'm going to look around here. See, let's go to a random team here. The Pittsburgh Penguins. What does Pittsburgh have here? So Kap uh, Kaprizov on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, okay. Interesting. Rosovic, actually a pretty good overall. He's going to want a contract extension this year, though. Uh, McGroti. Definitely going to want a contract extension this year as well. But no one no one on Pittsburgh. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. I don't know who we can kind of get out of this. Six mil, six mil. Like this, like this guy would be great. Oscar Olofsson. What's his? Yeah, this is like a type of player I, I would want to replace him with. If I can make this happen. 
They don't have a first round next year, though. Oh, they do. This is their first next year. They have a lot of picks. What can I do to make this happen here? Throw in a third, and maybe... Who? How can we make this? Chimera, I'm actually going to keep on the squad. I don't I don't want to trade Chimera. Lundstrom, don't want to trade either. I don't mind getting rid of Schultz, just because he's a low overall. Um, let's go Havrick. And you can have Jake Spence, too. I don't think this will go through. Trade, reject it. But maybe I, I'll just go one for one. Trade, reject it. Come on. I got 13 seconds to make this trade before it all goes away. We don't need any picks in this draft. Trade rejected. All right, so we're going to have to keep Turkoff for now. We're going to keep Turkoff for now. Hopefully, it doesn't bite us in the butt. But uh, let's get to our picks here. So pick number 128 here. What can we get? Casey Sim? No, no, no. None of these guys. Sammy Hukinen. Is there anyone who's potentially a gem? I mean, that would be great. Not looking like it, unfortunately. Okay, let's gamble away. Sit, no. That's not terrible, to be honest. Five assists up for a defensive defenseman. You know what? Let's go with Yuri. Let's go with him. What was his overall? Just curious here. If it's a good pick, I'll pick another one. Low top four. 63 overall. I mean, that's a great pick. That's a great pick, if you ask me. Sim to that next pick. Let's see what we can do here. Summers. No, nah, it could be better. No. This goalie actually looks pretty good, too. Lumi. What do we got from Lumi? Do, 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 do. Mine rack up. Yeah, okay. Let's auto drop the rest. I could try going for a steal or something like that, but I'm not too worried about that. All right. Let's get into the off season to the resign stage. This is where not trading Turcot could bite me in the butt right here. I'm gonna say it. Not trading Turcot could definitely bite me in the butt here. We have three million dollars in cap. Who do we need to bring back? So Bjorkfont needs to come back. I would like to bring him back if possible. Mady Chuck, I would like to bring back. Anderson Doyle, don't really care about. Um, okay, so what does Bjorch Font want? So we're gonna have to restrict him. We're gonna have to qualify RFA for him. We're gonna have to let Raquel walk, I think. Actually, it's not that bad of a deal. If I can get him at 1.55, he does wanna come back. We're selling Cup champions, come on back, buddy. Made it Chuck, or made it Chuck. A pretty good deal for him too, to be honest. Let's go four years with him at 1.6. If he signs, he signs, if not, I don't know if we need him. So Raquel's back, maybe Chuck's back, and now we have $2 million. So let's look at the goaltenders before I forget. So definitely want to bring back the medium elite goaltender. Oh, he wants a what? A okay. I didn't think he would want a one-way contract. That's kind of tough, but I'll offer him it. Uh, don't need him. And now let's just go through here and see who is unsigned. So Lafemme, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Uh, Chimera, we're going to offer a contract now. Anderson Doyle, going to walk away from him, going to walk away from him. Uh, Tyler Bouchard, I'll offer him a contract two-way, not, nothing too crazy. Uh, Magnuson, just never really going to crack the roster. Noel, I'll keep for the AHL. George Font, RFA, and that's it. So everyone else should be good. Chimera is on the squad now. Resign, resign, and we're good to go. All right, let's get into the free agent. I did not think we'd be able to make it happen. I thought Turcotte would for sure have to have to walk, but I mean that's probably best case scenario for us, if you ask me. Probably best case scenario. But actually, I want to go to these contracts. Okay, let's go to view contracts. So McBain's making twelve now. Mishkov's making twelve. We got some big contracts here. We got some big Turcot. So if I want to offer you a contract extension, okay, so I could make it work with, with Turcot. Just because his contract extension is actually not that bad. So if I went five years at 6.3, just gonna see if I can get him signed. What about Mikey Anderson? What he want? 
He wants five mil as well. A little bit of a pay increase. Jaeger's definitely going to want some. You know what? I think I should lock up Jaeger for five years. 4.2 mil. Who else is here? Rasmus Kapari. Goaltenders. Samsonov's going to want a contract coming up. Eight mil. So we're probably not going to be bringing back Samsonov. But let's go take a look here at the free agency. And what are we working with here? Wow. Okay, let's go to unrestricted free agent before we get too crazy. Cal McCarr. Oh, I wish. I wish. I wish. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I wish, though. We don't have two million. We got two million dollars. And it's all, honestly, I feel like Sidney Crosby. Now, how good would Sidney Crosby be to have on the team? 60 points. <laughs> Surprise Pittsburgh doesn't bring him back. Fabry, Drake Batherson, Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett is actually not that bad. What's his defensive stats? Yeah, I could be a little bit better. Liam Foodie, Jonathan Druin. Is that Jake Sanderson? Jake Sanderson, our unrestricted free agent. That would be an interesting player to try picking up. Because that would basically be a replacement for Mikey Anderson or Bjorgfond. And Bjorgfond wants around $5 million. So I'm thinking maybe it might be a better idea to try to trade or try to sign Jake Sanderson. Am I, am I crazy with that? The Jake Sanderson move? Probably should steer away from it. Let, let, me, let me take a look here. Can we make it work? Is it feasible? So if we go to... Let's do proposed trade here. Proposed trade. And who is our defense right now? So that, that's the big thing. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it wouldn't be a bad move. It wouldn't be a bad move. I think I got to hold off though. I think I got to hold off. Forwards, is there anyone else we can get rid of? Again, it's Turcotte's like the one guy where it's just like, you're going to trade someone, Turcotte, Definitely is uh, is a good option to trade. Is this all our forwards, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, Jaeger's on a cheap contract. We might need a depth forward, actually. I think we got. I think we steer away from from Jake Sanderson. It would be a good pickup. I'm kind of just going from because I'm a sense fan, if I'm being honest. But we, it looks like we need a depth forward, which is a little bit more of a, of a priority to me. So let's look for someone who's about one, two million dollars, two way forward who can really help out that bottom six. So Pavel Zaka, power forward, don't need that. Jasper Fast is a sniper. Alafayo, two way forward. Here we go. Defensive, not the greatest though. Can we find someone a little bit better, Casey? Can we find someone a little bit better? Shane Goss to spare. This guy. Igor. Igor. Igor is not bad. Jess Skinner. Definitely not Jess Skinner. Sorry, buddy. No. Jason Zucker, maybe? So we're getting a little bit low. Jack Hughes 2.0. Who's actually... I mean, how do you say no to this? I'm going to try getting Jack Hughes 2.0 on the team. Seven years at $2 million. Third round pick for him? Sure. I thought I was on the unrestricted free agents, but that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Okay, so Elite, let me go to unrestricted. I want to see if there's any good prospects here. 69, I mean, not bad. One way, don't want to give him one way. What about this guy? Two way, sure. Giordano, two way, sure. Now let's take a chance. Pinelli, no, don't want. Gundler, don't want either. And goaltenders, is there anyone here that might be something? Because we do need a goaltender potentially coming up into the future. 
And I think that's all we're going to really do. We don't have too much money to play with. We want to save some money for, for next season. But let's simulate to next season. We made a couple moves there. A couple moves there. Are we going to make any trades here? Not going to make any trades. But I kind of want to see if anyone accepts the offer. Jack Hughes. So he's, he says yes. Jack Hughes says yes. But let's see if they uh, if they match it. Alex Turcott assigns a new deal. Braden Yeager signs the contract. And here it is. The Edmonton Oilers have chosen to match your offer. Okay, so we're not going to be getting Jack Hughes. But I'm going to simulate to the regular season. And I will see you there. And we will take a look at the updated Los Angeles Kings. All right, the new year is here. Let's take a look at the roster moves. So we got Samsonov and Caden Primo still playing 1A, 1B for us. We need a goaltender in the system because this is the last year that we have Samsonov under contract. So for the defensemen, we got Nemec, Clark, Pesce, Mikey Anderson, Jake Spence, and Mady Chuck. Keep in mind, we still have to sign um, Dior Font. So we're, we're waiting on that still. And once he gets there, he'll slot in where either one of these two spots are. So probably where Jordan Spence, not Jake Spence. Jordan Spence is just for the sheer reason that maybe Chuck is younger, top four, and is superstar X Factor. So going to keep that in mind when we're making those roster moves. Um, let's go take a look at the forwards now. So Jake McBain up to a 96 overall. Marat up to a 90. Savoie up to a 90. So we got some pretty good players up here. Um, we're going to bring down Hellenius and Noel for now. We can take a look at that in a second. So Lemieux, is there anyone in the system we want to bring up? So Noel, no, no. None of these guys really all defensively trash. So I'm going to kind of keep them down there in the minors. Let them grow here. The best lines. So I'm going to make a couple changes to these lines, and I'll be back in a second. All right. We didn't make too many changes to the lines here, but first line... Of course, we got Quinton Byfield, Jake McBain, and Matt Tithe, Mishkov, the best first line in the NHL. Second line, we got Murat playing. Actually, we want Murat on the right side, I believe. Shoots left. Yeah, we want him on the one-timer side. We got, yeah, perfect. We got him playing with Savoie and Jaeger, just like in the playoffs there. If we need be, we can bring Turcotte up and Jaeger down. But I'm going to start with Jaeger on that top Top, top six, not top nine. Uh, sec, third line, we're going Andrew Kopp, Alex Turcott, Erasmus Kapari. Fourth line, Sammy Blay, Ricard Raquel, and Brendan Lemieux. Defensively, we've got Brant Clark and Simo Nemec, Mady Chuck and Pesce, then Mikey Anderson and Jordan Spence. So it'll probably get changed once we uh, once we offer a contract to Bjorge Font, but we'll do that next episode most likely. Uh, special teams for the power play. We got Marat, McBain, Quinn and Byfield. Pretty good first pairing there with Mishkov and Brant Clark, and then Jaeger, Turcotte, Savoie, Mady Chuck, and Zemo Nemec. So a pretty good, you know, pretty good roster there. Penalty kill, didn't touch it too much, but th that's our penalty kill I actually might bring up there. Boom, something like that. I don't think I want Byfield killing the penalties, even though he's very capable of it. Is there someone else we can throw there? Jaeger maybe, get him a little bit more ice time. So what's Jaeger? He's got four and a half star defense. I, I think that'll work. So we'll throw Jaeger there. Works with me. Andrew Kopp's not really a penalty killer, apparently. So what if I put Ricard Raquel? Not a penalty kill either. Okay, we got to find someone. Sammy Blay, maybe? There we go. We'll put Blay there. Three and a half star. That's, I mean, that's fine. Not too crazy. Not too worried about that. Marat, we could probably move out of there as well. But I'll keep him there just for the time being. No big deal. And we'll keep like that. Okay. And then in the cage, we got none other than Ilya Samsonov. But let's take a look here at Nemec. What's the contract looking like now? So view contracts here in the top left, top right, not top left. It's getting late. It's getting late. So we got to go um, RFAs, view arch font. How much do you want now, buddy? You only want one year, 3.1 mil. So now it's, it's feasible. I have enough to bring him back for one year. Uh, he won't be an RFA next year, though. So, who, where do we want to give him a bigger contract? Maybe two years. Can we try getting him at two years for 3.9? Like that? We'll see if he accepts that. If he does, 
We'll figure it out next. Actually, we'll probably figure it out this episode. But I want to I want to play the first game of the regular season. You know how it is. Uh, Lafam do not want Yortron is back on the squad, so we're definitely going to get him. Have to have to add him back to the roster before uh, the first regular season game. So let's get into it. Who do we have first off? Come on, NHL, load it up, load it up. We got the Calgary Flames. So let's edit these rosters really quick. I'll do it with everyone here. Um, so defensively, we can bring down Jake Spence, bring up Bjorg Font, boom. So now we're gonna go edit NHL lines. I don't want to do best line, so make sure that's all right still. Okay, that all looks good. Uh, defense, starting line, defense. So now we got right here, Bjorg Font. Boom, boom. Ooh, we got to make a little change here. Let's do that. We'll keep it like that. Or do we want to go... I like it like that. I like it like that. Bjorg Font, what else do you play? Probably penalty kill, right? Um, special teams, penalty kill. Nah, nah, we're good. We're good. All right, let's go. Let's go. The LA Kings versus the Calgary Flames, defending Stanley Cup champions. As always, we've got to simulate game number one. Can we take it? First period, who's going to be the first goal scorer for the Kings this year? And it will be the newly signed Bjorg Font and Sammy Blade, two unsung heroes to start it off for us. They do get a goal from Matty to Chuck, but two to one lead, ouching them 19 to six after one. Second period, we score another two goals as it's another defenseman who gets in on the scoring. Simo and Nemec and Quinton Byfield, by our Bykov. That's the guy who went first overall, right? There you go, scores in his first career NHL game. But let's get into the third period as Mikey Anderson scores the third goal from our blue line this game as every defensive pairing now has a goal. Jake McBain adds yet another goal as we are up 6-2 to two now. Power play, unable to capitalize, but we are lighting up the, sh the shot totals here. Another power play, still unable to capitalize, but we will take the first game of the regular season as we score two every period. Big game from McBain, big bang, big bang, big game from Byfield as well as McBain leads the way. And that is going to do it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think we should do. Um, I was planning on going one more year with the LA Kings franchise and then kind of switching to a different team. So let me know what you guys think. If we want to do that, what team do we want to do? And we'll kind of go from there. But first things first, we're going for the back to back to back Stanley Cup championships. Let's go. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day. Peace out.